to another edition of the Mako Update Show. I'm Seth Hackey, joined by the man to my right, the one and only, Kevin Harris. <laughs> week three is complete, Kevin. Again, crazy week. Castro pulled out when we didn't think we'd see. Combination of pull-ups, heavy snatches. The best part about this workout, the harder you worked, the more time you got to work. It was one heck of a week and a workout. What would you think about it? I thought it was an inter interesting combination because heavy snatches are great. Chest work pulls are great. Combine them, heavy snatches are a lot harder. Your arms don't exist anymore, so it was tough. Definitely something I would, uh, I would love to see again. Yeah, I think a lot of people thought that it was a great workout coming out this week. So a lot of people really happy with it uh, and something that surprised some of us, but it was great to see. Before we get going on that, I just want to go ahead and highlight some of the athletes that hit PRs and hit some weight that they didn't think they were going to be able to. Starting off with Ashley Lapp, there's Tabitha Broussard, Adam Stewart cleared the entire ladder, Kim Moreau crushed it, Phoebe Bryant, and last on that list, Ashlyn Rochmo with some chest-to-bar pull-ups for the first time. Yeah, I'm going to highlight one of those out of all of them are great, um, but Ashlyn getting the chest bar pull-ups was awesome because she has been putting in a lot of extra effort. Uh, she came to us looking for extra uh, gymnastics stuff. We gave her some volume there. She put in extra work outside the class time, and now she's got chest bar pull-ups. And just overall, her gymnastics improved a lot the past few weeks. It's great seeing that, especially when an athlete puts the time in and then hits that PR on the backside after putting that time in. Love seeing that. Any of the athletes that hit PRs out there, great job. Sorry if we missed you. We can't wait to see those PRs next week and the week after as the Open continues. And as you keep going on that fitness journey with us, let's move on, talk about the teams and how the points are stacking up after three weeks. As of today, points totals are team gains, 223 points. Team Swole, 217. If you guys would put your source on the website, we'd be ahead or tied right now. You heard it right there, Kevin telling you, Team Gains and Team Swole, both teams left a lot of points on the table. They did. Get out there, put your points into the system, that's how it gets counted. Again, we got to have those in, that's where we chalk all the points up, see where the teams stack out. So be sure these next two weeks, put your scores in and we'll get those points counted. We're going to move on and talk about where the extra points were earned on each team, starting off with that Spirit of the Open, earning five extra points for the team and making it the separator this week was Team Gaines member Adam Stewart. Love seeing that. Adam's my guy. Love that guy. Um, only problem is he's on Team Gaines, so they got five extra points. So there's a big separator there. Um, Adam deserved that award this week for sure. So he completed the workout, which is great. Um, that's not what the spirit's about. Adam came back to share his joy the, later in the day. He came back Friday at Lights, helped judge, talking to people, interacting with people, just having a really good time because he did so well in the morning time. So. He gave us a lot of extra time that he may not have had, and he wanted to share that, that joy with us, so it was great. Perfect person to get it. Yes, sir. There's no doubt in my mind that's who should have gotten it this week, and that's what it's all about is that spirit and just bringing everybody up with you, your team, and inside the gym. So, again, that's where that spirit went out. Now we're going to turn, take a look at guys and girls' side, those men and women who got those extra points for their team. We're going to start with the scaled side. On that scaled side, we've got at the top Jenna Wright, then Ashley Ladd, and rounding out that list is Phoebe Bryant. Yeah, that, none of this surprised me. Uh, two new faces on there, two newer to Mako. Uh, Jenna, first place this week, she's new to Mako. She's also going to be coaching here. So she's currently shadowing classes, so you'll see a lot more of her. Uh, make sure to say hey to her, introduce yourself. She's new here. And same thing with Ashley. If you see her around, introduce yourself. She's brand new as well. So And then Phoebe, rounding out that list, doesn't surprise me. Phoebe's been here for a long time. A lot of extra effort in. She spends a lot of time working her craft here, so... She'll get better and better as years go on here. And then, you know, just an outside looking in, because the tiebreak time was Kim Moreau, and she's new as well. So she got fourth this week based on a tiebreak time. So that was a big deal. So in the future weeks, you see those tiebreak times, keep thinking that stuff. Keep that in mind. Yeah, that is a good point to make. She just got edged out by Phoebe Bryant with that tiebreak time. And if you were here on Friday Night Lights in that last heat, you got to see Kim and Ashley go head to head. Yeah. They both made it till that final uh, showdown right there. Ashley edged out a few more snatches than Kim was able to, but it was just great seeing the ladies compete. Look forward to seeing that in the coming weeks. Yeah. Moving now, we're gonna turn to that men's side. Uh, at the top of the list there, we already talked about this guy, Adam Stewart, but down below that, we've got Adam Bullock and then Dwayne Jones. Oh, Dwayne, love that guy. So, Dwayne is the one I really wanna highlight the most here, because Dwayne's put a lot of work outside the gym. So nutrition, he's been putting a ton of effort into nutrition, uh, and you see it happen, and you see him getting third place his workout. Out of all the people scaling this workout, which a lot this week because of the heavy weights, so he, he did really well. And then Adam Bullock, 
Um, another guy that has been putting a lot of extra work in. He's got less time now because he's had a newborn child, and he's still making that hour a day, maybe less for him sometimes, to come make sure he gets better so his kid can see that when they grow up. Yeah, great seeing those guys score the extra points. Congrats, gentlemen. Good work to all those athletes on the scaled side. Now we're going to move over to the RX side of the house. So a lot of athletes this week that decided to go RX, and maybe they didn't have that weight or were testing themselves, and that's what I love about the Open is it pushes people past their limits. So we got to see that. Uh, we're going to take a look at the names that scored on the top on either side, starting with the ladies. No surprises here. We've got Amy White at the top of the list, followed by Summer Dupler and then Danny Howe. Yeah, none of that surprised me. All three of those ladies, I think they're all best friends. I think they do everything together, uh, which is fantastic seeing that, the camaraderie they have. Um, those three put in a lot of work. If you see them here, you know what they're doing. They, they really get after it. And so seeing that doesn't surprise me. What does surprise me, all three of them were able to hit snatch at 135. And so that's something new that I wasn't expecting out of all of them. So they definitely shocked me. Yeah, that was great to see. I think they all have a celebratory dance there on Friday Night Lights when they hit the 135 and then they hit a couple more reps. Again, like you said, awesome seeing their consistency pay off. We're going to move now over to the men's side and take a look at the names on that list. The top two, no surprise there. We've got Brandon Massey and then we have yourself at that number two spot. But that third name uh, might be a little surprise to some people, but not me. Uh, that's David Moorhead there. Coach D, Baby D, love that kid. He's uh, not shocking me on this one. Maybe he surprised other people, but... David snatches a house. He's a good athlete, young, 22 years old. Um, he's got a lot. He's got a bright future. So that doesn't shock me. Um, seeing Brandon there doesn't surprise me either. And then, you know, me in second place there, I'd love, I'd love to creep Brandon on that one, but I just didn't have it this week. So It was close. Uh, I know all of us love seeing you guys go head-to-head, -head, and I'm hoping we get to see some more matchups, whether it's yourself or Brandon or just getting some of the other athletes involved uh, in those head-to-head -head matchups on Friday Night Lights. Before we go, Kevin, uh, we got three weeks in the books. We haven't seen any repeat workouts, which we usually see at least one during the Open, and there's a lot of movements that are still on the table here after we've had three weeks. Uh, Castro just posted a photo on Instagram before we got started on the show. What are you thinking we're going to see come week four? Well, the photo was some kind of skyscraper. Um, there's a shot. You could look at other tall buildings as well. But the key there was the little the little uh, fire exit thing, uh, and it said something about kick push. So I'm thinking handstand push-ups and on the repeat note, I'd love to see the, the clean handstand push-up workout from a couple years ago. That'd be a really cool workout repeat. I'm hoping that shows up. You heard it, folks, right here. Kevin Harris says handstand push-ups next week. We'll, we will see what Dave Castro has in store for us. Like I said last week, we're going to be ready for it. We're going to have some fun with whatever comes out. Absolutely. Looking forward to seeing everybody at Friday Night Lights. That'll do it for this week's edition of the Update Show. Again, take care of your bodies, get them ready for next week when we see what Castro has for us in store for week four. Before we go, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Driven Nutrition. We use them for all our supplemental needs. We suggest you do the same. Till next time, gains on gains. Remember, you got to get swole.